what's good everybody thank you for checking me out this is echo simpson um last year i went to south africa for a holiday but i'm back i'm doing beautiful uh, i'm loving ghana you know ghana is like a place for all of us but today this is my first time i'm making uh, I'm having an interview in 2024, so I want to say Merry Christmas. I want to say Happy New Year to all of you watching my channel right now. I am privileged today to be sitting with uh, one of the powerful men in the world that is playing a role in this journey. When I say the journey, I am talking about the, the exodus, our brothers and sisters from uh, the diaspora and our brothers and sisters in the motherland coming together to form this force that at the end of the day we will say that africans can really come together and make things work um daddy that is what i'm going to call you because when it comes to ghana africa mm -hmm. anybody who is who is an elder mm -hmm. we call him daddy or we can call you uncle but i want to call you daddy because you resemble my dad and maybe oh, you resemble <laughs> ah, that's great <laughs> And then you Good resemble, man. you know, the <laughs> brothers and sisters who are in the motherland. Uh, welcome to my channel. Kindly introduce yourself, uh, especially with the state that you're from. Because okay. somebody would want to say like, hey, he's from my state. Okay. So kindly introduce yourself to us. Okay. Uh, good evening or good, good afternoon. My, my name is Harry E. Cantrell Jr. And I am chair of the Judicial Council of the National Bar Association. I am from the uh, great state of... Uh, Louisiana, New Orleans, Louisiana. Okay, and um, we are just, just, just thrilled, over, overwhelmed to be here, uh, to be to come back to our motherland. Great. I love it when he said the great state of Louisiana. Uh, I mean, I love music, so I know Lil Wayne. Yes. Lil Wayne is from. Well, Louis yeah, Lil Wayne is. Lil, Lil Wayne is from Detroit, I think. Detroit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Detroit. All right. So shout outs to all. And I mean, everybody who is watching from uh, Louisiana, what is the connection between uh, the people within Louisiana and in Africa? Okay. Do you think there's there's this connection going on? Oh, definitely. Then no doubt about it. I mean, uh, as I as sat down and ate the food, eat the food. There's a connection between the food and the taste. Okay. The food is spicy. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, our food is spicy. Okay. Okay. Uh, this potato salad today was great. It reminds me of, of being in Louisiana or being home okay okay uh, and I'm just we're just overwhelmed to be here uh, and to be home mm -hmm. to our motherland we were able to go down yesterday uh, to the river okay, okay and take off our shoes and actually stand in the river mm -hmm. and it was an amazing experience mm -hmm. amazing experience and uh, all of my members feel the same thing um, this is the first time that we've come as a group okay. to Ghana okay, okay? Uh, and uh, this has been a, a tremendous experience. Okay. And uh, before we start, I asked you if this is your first time in Ghana and then in Africa and then on the motherland. Is this yeah. your first time? This is my first time, but I've always wanted to get here. Okay. Always wanted to get here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. There's yes. been, there's been the this time. question that I always want to ask. When did you get to realize this is Africa? There is Africa. Because I know you grew up in the United States, yeah. so therefore it would take a while for you to know, okay, there is an Africa. How was it like for you to get to know Africa and then you learning more about Africa? Yeah, it was probably, uh, I'm thinking, in, um, probably in, in my college years when we began to, to, to study Africa. Okay. And then we begin to have our movements, okay, in mm -hmm. the United States. Mm -hmm. um, Malcolm X and, and Martin Luther King and yeah. those leaders, yeah. okay, yeah. Um, would remind us, okay, okay and expose okay. us to the fact that we're from Africa. Africa. Okay. So I learned early on, mm -hmm. okay, uh, and that's why I said I've always wanted to come back, to come back. okay, come back and experience it for myself, because mm -hmm. this was the beginning for us. Yeah, this is where our ancestors were. Yeah, okay. Uh, so for um, America, African Americans, I say that, okay, around uh, the United States. Okay, this is the beginning. This is the beginning. This is where it started Africa. for us. That's our ancestors. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Being a chair of the black, if I, if I am correct, uh, the black judges yes. in the United States, that is a big job Yes. to be in that position. Hmm. Being a black African or African in diaspora in this kind of position, hmm. how does it feel 
for you because I feel like with this you have a bigger job to do yes. to connect the brothers there to those in the motherland how has it been the journey so far being the chair of I mean the black judges in the United yeah. States it's, and like I said before it's been a, a very overwhelming mm -hmm. uh, experience okay. uh, I'm glad that we were able to come back mm -hmm. uh, all people in the organization uh, because the chair uh, decides what country we go to or okay. where we go okay okay uh, and uh, I specifically wanted to come here and and I had a, the choice to make and I made the choice that I wanted to come to Ghana I wanted to come home okay okay and, and my members mm -hmm. have come up to me and said man this was this is a great trip, a great trip. this is a great trip man yeah. they've been trying to come home okay okay <laughs> they've so, been trying yes yes yeah. one, one member's been here 70 something years mm -hmm. they've been trying to get back home yeah okay so and she came up to me and said, wow, I just really appreciate what you did. Mm -hmm. They saluted me and everything mm -hmm. else, okay, for bringing them back home. Yeah. I think it's a, it's a great move, and I would like to congratulate you on that. Mm -hmm. That, I mean, amongst all the, the beautiful territories that we have here, or among all the beautiful countries that we have in the continent, you chose to come to Ghana. That is a big thing for me because you would have been to maybe Nigeria, which is also good, mm -hmm. like here, but you choosing Ghana, choosing my city, Cape yeah. Coast, mm -hmm. that makes me really happy. And I really want to say thank you for bringing all these people. They can count up to how many? Well, we got about 147 what? people. Yeah. 147 people? Yeah, we people. only brought 74 judges and, and the rest of them are our guests. Okay. Uh, but we have 74 judges and the rest of our okay. uh, our guests. How, how beautiful is it to be a judge, a black judge in the United States? How, how did I become one? No, no, yeah, how did you become one? And what does it take for one to become a judge in the United States? Because I know um, when you read the history, black people, yes, they are there, but certain positions may be a little bit difficult to get it. Absolutely. And I read about the 12 uh, lawyers or judges who came together and then set up the National Bar Association and now we have the association ongoing. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? How did, how did it come about? How did it come about? Okay. Well, our organization, okay, it was, I think it was 1971. Yeah. Okay. The uh, then president of the National Bar, okay, uh, some judges approached him and asked that maybe we can have a division with the National Bar because we have kind of different interests. Okay. Okay. And so they formed it with the judges. And, and basically, the judges do have a, a, a different interest because we're judges. Okay. Okay. And, and we sit there and we judge people. We judge people. Lawyers yeah. come before us. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, when we when we establish that organization, then the judges, of course, we the organization begin to grow. Okay. In our roots, um, but it's 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 it's, it's you. In the, well, now it's been difficult for African Americans yeah. in America. In America. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we don't have the. We don't have the, the, the number of judges, African-American judges, okay, that's in relation to or proportionate to the population yeah. of African-Americans right. in America. Okay. Okay. So that is a constant struggle for mm -hmm. us is to try to get um, African-American judges elected okay. or appointed to the federal bench. Okay. So that's one of our aims is to, mm -hmm. is to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, um, and we try to, we want to, as African Americans, I think we have a special, yeah. okay, especially when we have a, a special, okay, um, choice or have a special duty, okay, okay to other to the African Americans in the United States to make sure that they get equal justice, mm -hmm. and equity, and fairness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Equal justice. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've been doing my search on, on the whole National Bar Association, mm -hmm. and I love the fact that you, the black, judges and lawyers came together to fight for their people absolutely exactly absolutely. now it, it, it I don't know your age but you've waited all this while to make your trip to the motherland mm -hmm. a lot of people African Americans African diaspora they are they are skeptic mm -hmm. about coming home mm -hmm. they are scared they hear stories and everything you are now here yes what is your message your deepest message to any African diaspora and who is watching us right now on my channel what are you going to say to that person in connection to having a free mind open mind to come to the motherland they need to every every i, I think every african-american needs to come here okay to find out 
to see where it all started and where we came from. Right. I mean, that is so, so important, you know? Okay, it gave me a deeper appreciation, okay, of where I want to go and where, and where I, because I know now mm -hmm. and experience where I came from. Yes. Okay. Uh, and like I said, it's, um, I learned in, in college or just before college uh, with our movements in America mm -hmm. for equal justice, yeah. okay, that I wanted to come to Africa and mm -hmm. see where my ancestors were. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, uh, that's what we're forging forward, trying to do, is to have equal justice for all the African Americans in, the, in, in, uh, in America. And it's interesting when I talked to one of the presidents, the ex-president of Ghana. Okay. Okay, and I'm, I'm, I wanted to know in the, uh, about how the American government was treating Ghana. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you know, they gave, we, they give money to countries mm -hmm. all around the world. Mm -hmm. They gave, uh, I think they've just been just given uh, but Israel, something like 12 billion. So I wanted to know how much how money, money they've they given to Ghana. Yeah. Okay. Because mm. if they can get 12 million to Israel, then they need to be given <laughs> more than that to Ghana. Yes, yeah. to Ghana. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when I go back, I'm gonna talk to my congressman. I'm gonna right. find out. Right. Okay. How yeah. much money? Okay. Is America allocating to Ghana? To Ghana. Okay. Um, because uh, you know. It's no more than right that they do that. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. no more than right that they do that. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna advocate for that when I get back to uh, to, to America. Yes. Thank you. You need to advocate for that, and I'm honestly going to be a part of this. Okay. You know, if, if if we have to send a message out there for the world to know that hey, we are advocating something powerful for Ghana. Uh, what is United States allocating to Ghana? You've done that to Israel. So what's right. up with Ghana? Yeah. So I wanted to say thank you very much for being on my channel. I know it was a quick one. Uh, thank you very much for being on my channel. My name is Echo Simpson. Okay. I'm a teacher by profession. Okay. Uh, I teach elementary. And then I do YouTube videos to tell the story mm -hmm. of how people can learn to come home. Yes. So basically, that is all about my channel. Thank you very much for checking us out. Uh, it was a good one talking to my daddy. Uh, from the United States, Louisiana. Shout out to all Louisiana. How, if someone is from Louisiana, how do we call them? Well, uh, Louisianian or? That's it, Louisianian. Okay. Yeah, that's so absolutely right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you for being okay. here. Okay. Oh, you're quite welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, and it's good to be home. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay.